Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm your boy Nev from Nevstech, but today we're going to be t tearing down uh, Cisco Linksys EA6400. This is a 1600 um, AC unit. AC unit. So this thing's busted. It came to me busted. I can't seem to fix it. I don't know what's going on with it, so I'm going to tear it open. Maybe we can see what's going on. This is actually found on a scrap pile. Uh, a local scrapper knows me, and he knows I like to take stuff apart. So what we got here are Phillips head screws, and then probably on the inside after that, we are going to have um, clips. These things are really well known for their clips. In my area is really well known for poor farmers losing equipment because of uh, lightning strikes. I know there's supposed to be surge protectors that'll take care of that, but man, I know farmers that it doesn't matter what you attach your hardware to, it, it's like lightning strikes and it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter, okay. Now I have to fight with clips. Oh, I'll be right back. So yeah, just like I said, fighting with clips. One, two, all the way back here. So it looks like we have antennas. One, two, three, four, five. five. That can't be right, five antennas? No, one, two, three, four, five, okay. Five, that can't be right though. One, two, three, four. Okay, it looks like it's uh, it's right, but three of them plug in naturally, and then two of them are soldered. Sorry about that. Two of them are soldered. Interesting. So, this unit just flies right out, just pops right out. Unless they don't, of course. In which case, I'm going to need to get snippies. And of course I can't find my snippies, but what always works. Man, I, I can always find my snippies unless I absolutely need them, my wire cutter, so let's just use nail clippers. That works for me. There we go. So here's what we got. Whole bunch of metal plating. Of course I'm gonna try to take that off now. Be right back. Okay, so that was very easy to disassemble. One of the things I learned and I find very interesting about this is, uh, so we had shields over top of these units, and on the back sides, so right here, we had a heat sink on the opposite side of the motherboard, and that is super interesting. I've never seen that done before. It might be normal, but I just have not seen it done before. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna put this down, see if I can get a close-up of that Broadcom chip. Some people really like to know. Oh man, that's hard to get. That looks like Broadcom BCM708AKFEBG. So that looks like the main chip to this unit. Pull back a little bit. Skyinks. It's interesting how worn this is, seeing how no one's really been in here before. Wait one second, I want to see if I can get a better picture of that now. And I'm really impressed with these cameras on the Google Pixel. Okay, let's see what else we got over here. We got another Broadcom. And little chips, and I'm not even going to try to get the information off those. But it's interesting enough, these things are so small, but they produce so much heat that they get a heat sink at the back. Damn, that's interesting. That is very interesting. So not much going on in the back from here. Back to the front, or actually the back perhaps. And back to the front. I don't think I looked at that one. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. But yeah, that's it. That is what's on the inside of that. Man, I love taking stuff apart. I absolutely love to take stuff apart. If you're on this channel, you already know that.
Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Neff and Neff's Tax Facts. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other. Have a good one, folks.